Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing how to install EMU8086 and we will try to understand how to perform an programming in EMU8086. So uh, for installation, we can able to go to uh, directly to Google and we can able to uh, check for your EMU8086. So this is a Google. In that, we can able to have EMU8086 download. So in that we can able to have multiple downloads. We can able to see multiple downloads. So you can able to go for any downloading site and you can able to take that uh, thing and you can able to download it. So if you are pressing download, it will download itself. So download for PC. Yes, you have to download it for PC. So it will take some time for downloading. So it will download itself. So I have already downloaded. So I can able to see with those downloads directly. Yeah. So I have already downloaded and keep it ready, uh, kept it ready for your uh, installation. So I can able to open this file and I can able to have an uh, read file and I can able to have a setup file. So I can directly install as like all software. I can able to directly uh, install all the things one by one and I can able to uh, proceed with my installation. So it will ask for specific memory, uh, location where it has to install all those things. You can able to give it for your convenience and you can able to do it. If there is any trouble uh, in our downloading this uh, file, so I have given a drive link. So in this drive link, in the previous video, I have already used the same drive link for installation of MASM8086. Here uh, in the same file, I have given with EMU8086 RAR file. You can able to directly download it from here and you can able to install those software. So after completing, after installation, so I can able to get an icon like this in terms of EMU8086. So I can able to double click on it. So it is going to uh, ask whether you have to open a new program or we have to open an already ex existing examples or recent files all those things if you are pressing new so it will ask whether in which template it has to take so you just uh, take in terms of your boot template so it is very easy for us to uh, get those things so any template is fine you can able to take the template and you can able to uh, use the template for your uh, programming so for an example uh, we will try to do a small program and we will try to see how it works so i will try to take an already existing program so arithmetic instructions. So where I have tried to uh, do some arithmetic operations and I am trying to uh, check how for uh, these things can be done in EMU8086. So after typing this program, I have to emulate, click on emulate button. So emulate, so it will try to emulate. So here uh, these things are uh, taking its position. So I can able to take these things keep these things ready in parallel. So this is with original source code and this is your window where you have typed your program. And this is how we can able to see your uh, register values along with all the things which you are, uh, if you want to execute it, you have to execute it step by step or you have to run the program, all those things we can able to take it. So in specific, we have to see the memory location also. So if you want to take the memory location, press this auxiliary AUX in that you can able to check with your memory. So memory, I can able to take it and keep it ready for my uh, application. So after that, uh, after getting this done, so I have to check my flag status also every time. So I have to click on this flag. I have to keep it ready for my flag. So these are the uh, boxes which I have to kept it ready for my uh, execution of my program. So just I have uh, tried to understand what is arithmetic operations, what is addition operation, what is subtraction operation, all those things. As of now, we will try to just we will try to do the addition operation only. So in this addition operation, uh, already existing values I have to declare it so that this is data transfer instruction and this is arithmetic instruction. So how it is being uh, done. So first, if I want to move any value inside my register, so I have to use the uh, command or instruction MOV BX comma 2000H, which means I am pushing the value of 2000 inside my BX. 
right so i have to execute step by step so press uh, one time so i can able to see uh, it has been updated to 2000 so the recent updates will be highlighted in blue color so instruction pointer which is saying that it is jumping for the uh, third memory location so it is being updated with blue color and after that i have to push my values of 1111 into ax which means ah is 11 and al is 11 if i want to do that i can able to run this program so i can able to see recent updates are done with 1111 so it has been jumped to 0006 because previously it is 0003 and after that it is 0006 this is the memory location it is needed for saving that command of move ax 1111 inside your memory so i can able to check how much space it is taking for that instruction to save inside my memory so after that one i can able to execute the next command which i am trying to move the value of 0001 to dx right this is where your dx is getting located this is dl and dh i am pushing the values in dx so single step even though i am pushing the values in dx only update is happened in dl which is going to be 0001 only 01 is getting updated so it is only highlighted in blue color so instruction has been jumped to the ninth position so after that one your arithmetic instruction starts so what i am trying to do i am adding the value of 74 to my al that is the purpose of this uh, add instruction so in terms if i want to uh, get it done so how it is going to look like so the value of al will be equal to al plus 74 74 right this is how uh, this will treat this instruction to be so the value of al will be updated with already existing al plus 74 to it and it will be updated in al itself 11 has to be added with your 74 this is al with your 74 so that it has to be updated itself with the next uh, command right so if i am trying to uh, run that in a single step so it is updated to 85 so the instruction pointer is pointing to the next instruction so in this fashion i can able to uh, in uh, this is your immediate addressing mode so after that one if you want to move in terms of your register addressing mode so i have to add my value of al to my dx and i have to save it inside my dx so ax value is 1185 and after that dx value is already it is 0001 so when it is getting added it will be converted into 01186 right so if i am trying to run this one 1186 is getting updated so while you are doing this operation i have to check the flags right so the next instruction is going to be the bx is at 2000 so i have to give some values at the memory location of 2000 so i can able to select this specific four bits uh four <coughs> so i can able to give it as 2000 i can able to update my values so i am updating the values to be 02 update so it is getting updated so i can able to while i am executing the next instruction the value of 02 will be getting added to ax right and it will be saved inside my ax so 1185 will be converted into 1187 so i can able to check it it will be updated so if carry exist like if you want to move some values and if you want to check for your carry so i can able to uh, do the operation of uh, move just an sample move al comma ff h add al comma 01 in my al and after updating itself uh, 01 will be added to it so when it is going to get it in done so i can able to execute it one by one and i can able to check it how it responds to it yeah so move al comma ff right so if i am going to execute it this al will be updated with ff so after that one i am pushing the value of 01 to it right so this 01 is getting added to my al so that 
the actually the output should be 0 0 with a carry 1. So if I am trying to run it, next step, your output is 0 0. It is not getting updated with your AH register. Instead, it is going to set your carry flag to 1. And also, this accumulator, which is going to be AL, is set as 0 so that this 0 flag will be enabled. So, like this, I can able to uh, check for the flags and I can able to uh, put the values inside my memory and I can able to type my program and here I can able to see my register values. All those things can be done at a single moment. Thank you everyone for your patient listening.